the third seed, Rina Dudakina, is bidding for her second career title and about to play her second straight final of the new season. And from China, Yang Shui. The fourth seed, Zhang Shui, seeking her third career singles title and her first outside of China. Hello and welcome to finals day of the Hobart International. I'm Barry Milnes with you for coverage of this singles final. A first meeting between two players ten years apart in age and uh, ten places apart in the rankings coming into this event. But uh, they have topped the tournament to reach this showpiece and uh, a very good show indeed for all the fans who've made their way today to this centre court at the Domain Tennis Centre. The weather pleasant enough, warmed up a bit after a couple of chilly days. We had rain issues a couple of days ago. It was still very cool yesterday, but uh, good to see the blue skies, just uh, some fluffy white clouds, not too much to concern us, and uh, almost ready now for the toss of the coin. Kazakhstan against China, Rebakina against Zhang. It uh, should be a fitting finale to this tournament that has uh, entertained us this week. And the latter stages shaped up like that. Some tremendous matches we had in that uh, top half, particularly where uh, Watson knocked out the top seed, Mertens, and then they had a real battle with Rebakina yesterday in a, a very close semi and of course uh, Rebecca herself had had a battle prior to that against Lizette Cabrera the Australian wildcard who is uh, showing such promise as well but no doubt about uh, the Kazakhs promise just 20 years of age but possessed of a, a game that shows real quality real strength in many areas and she's in some terrific form. Runner-up in Shenzhen a week ago to Ekaterina Alexandrova of Russia. She has one title which she won in Bucharest in 2019. And since then, well, she's won 29 of her past 38 matches since she started that to run to into a title. Six foot two. Powerful serve and uh, certainly very powerful off the forehand, which is a real winning shot when she's uh, got it lined up and in good working order, which it's tended to be this week. That's her route right through, as you can see. And she's been torn a beat and prior to uh, get to Nova Cabrera and Watson. It went the distance. And she shows great poise on the court. She's uh, had to solve some problems. Two minutes. And has uh, been fairly nervous on the in doing so. But well, to win the title, she the she's going to beat this lady, who, at 30 years of age, and she'll be 31 next week, has uh, done much more, of course, in the sport. Has that greater experience, that real sort of court craft and skill, and, and very consistent she's been this week. Career high ranking of 23 for Jan Frey. That looks like uh, 
she'll certainly be back inside the top 30 and uh, indeed could well be inside that point to uh, 29 in the world if she was to win this title. Victims at the start of her week. One minute. Meeting now for these two players. Certainly four seeds never yet faced each other until today. And Marta Rosinska will be chairing this one. Look at that. A very pleasant day out in the bay. The temperature rising a bit. I mean, it's not really hot at all, but uh, we'll take it. Ladies and gentlemen, this no final match will be played to the best of three tiebreak sets. Yelena Rybakina won the toss and chose to serve. A really fun day to uh, watch here. And uh, if you want to, there will be uh, coverage of the doubles final that will follow later on and Zheng Shui is involved in that as well. She's partnering Peng Shui of China and then will be up against uh, Kichuan and Mirsa in that match once Zhang has had suitable rest after this singles final. Seventh final of the Hobart International coming up here between Rubakina and Zhang Shui. <laughs> Zhang Zhi was the last Chinese to win this title 15 years ago. The last Chinese to play in the final until now. That's it's going to be Kazakhstan. First Serving first in the shape of Elena Rubakina. Elena Rubakina to serve. Serves straight out with the returns, not to yet able to pick up the pace quite right. Full seat. Oh. Oh. Swift, clean start. And this up and coming player. First. like to begin her week in Shenzhen included a very good victory over Elise Mertens after beating a couple of other Chinese players and then Christina uh, Pliskova also fell to her upright. before Alexandra that showed her a thing or two Jen in that Schweiz. final but she'll be looking now to uh, out and uh, apply herself here in the best way possible it's a good start already we should certainly go after this uh, chung serve if she can uh, play racket on ball well enough certainly the ball flying a bit more today because of the uh, the warmer temperature. Oh, third 
For. Very good off that return, pushed Zhang back. Yeah. And that's well scooped up to bring up the first break point. Zhang is a fine doubles player, of course. She is a reigning Australian Open champion with Sam Stoza. Winner to go in Melbourne. Oh, game. And a very lively start from Rebecca. Really taking it to her, Rebecca moving her around. Nice use of the backhand. I know she's tall and the quickest mover out there. She's certainly been uh, focused from the start here and moved well to uh, that last ball to take advantage. Two love. herself already. Loving that. <laughs> watching there. And she's just really going after her shots and doing brilliantly so far. Three love. Well, the fans will be wanting some entertainment, but they might be wondering at the moment if it's uh, going to last very long here. Just five minutes for those first three games. 12 points to two already. Back in a... Jan will have to uh, keep a nerve here. Good work to start the fourth game.
she's got contact on the run. She was late to that last forehand. Seen that all week. In fact, we've seen that the last few months. The way she's taken on serves anything less than very good is getting a real seeing to. To see that chest stay back on the other side. The back final is by three games to one. So, first game for the Chinese. A fair bit of support for her this week. Serve. The ace is uh, already racking up here. Outstanding. That really is top class tennis from the third seed who is yet to drop a point on her serve. 11 out of 11 won so far. one against the serve and a very nice backhand. She's pushed back then by Rakina. Not allowed the Chinese here to drive through it. Game. But for the most part she's bossing this right now. And she's very good indeed at 4 1. Next set. Rebakina is by four games to one. You're very slow with the legs, and she moves the ball a little bit. You're going slow with the hand. I don't say overheat, but I want a little bit more attention. 
just a tiny bit more attention, okay? That's it. Everything is perfect what you're doing. Don't be scared to go forward when you play to her forehand, back and side. Okay, it's good to play to her forehand, but what you did, you noticed. She started stepping back. She started moving back a lot, you understand what I mean? Stay on top of her and go forward. Don't be scared, okay? Let's go. Oh yeah, that way. Okay. Let's go, Sama. <clears throat> Time. Almost a full house gathered around this uh, centre court. Uh, great to see them out in such numbers to uh, watch uh, what has already been a tremendous start from back in it. Fascinating though, isn't it, that she called for her coach at the uh, change of ends there, just wanted some reassurance. He wants a bit more intensity from her, feels that that's still not quite there. And, uh, to be fair, he's been right that this week there have been moments where she's lacked that. Just wants her to keep paying attention in the way she's uh, done so well so far. We've noticed that uh, Jane has been starting to step back a bit because of the onslaught coming from back in it. However, the Chinese here, she's very accurate generally, and that is a lovely winner. And she's been around the block enough to know that uh, there's plenty of time. No need to panic, even if she is down at the moment. But it is only one break of serve by which she trails. of that so well by four games to two. A stretch for it but made a great forehand winner to conclude another game so two on the board now for the Chinese what can she do against the, the excellent serving that's coming as her coach you show Let's see what he has to say later on 15 Shang was knocked off her feet by the power of that. Much slighter build. She is five foot ten, so not much taller, Rubikina. Overpowering with these gun shots. Again, stepping up, as her coach said, get forward. Left. 
seconds, huh? Faulty that. So a different look now on the serve. First time Jung's had <laughs> any kind of pressure on her opponent. Wanting the Kazakh to really focus. She stayed there, so a game that Advantage. she looked to be dominating is uh, potentially going to slip from her grasp, and this could be the way back in for Jung Shui. And it has New brought her back on serve. That's suddenly a catalogue of errors from the Kazakh and the Chinese now getting more involved. She trails 4-3. Guys, can I have umbrellas? Just put the boat down and get umbrellas. Happier now in that quarter. As Jung Shui has back from a three-love deficit, trail 4-3 on serve with new balls. It's been taken ill, so uh, just behind the players, they will uh, wait for the moment. Well, that, uh, spectator is attended to. Can you tell her we're in the tower? It's okay. She's going to uh, have the medical staff helping them out. While they do that, we will, uh, we will wait and uh, just reflect on the, the first seven games. I mean, it does beg the question why did, why did Rebecca ask for her coach when she did, when she was up? so well 
seems that possibly she's now got things on her mind a bit after their discussion and hasn't quite been able to uh, match the form of those first three games. Overall, her numbers very good though on the serve in terms of 67% on the first serve. 79% points won on that first serve. On a patron's welfare. We will keep you updated as to where I 57% on the second. Level, certainly, percentage of uh, first serves in play. Winning this higher percentage, obviously. Five aces from Rebakinet. One double fault. So comes with the territory a bit from her. Amazing to think that this time last year, Rebakinet was ranked outside the top 170 in the world. So it's been a tremendous rise over the second part of 2019 to get into the top 30 where she now stands. And I think she'll be ranked 26 in the world come Monday and the start of the Australian Open. And there she'll face a banana pera of the USA. Drawn against her in the opening round while uh, Trey is uh, drawn to face uh, Sloane Stevens, which isn't seeded, but uh, could be a serious threat, certainly. Yeah. It'll be very interesting to see how it does develop from here, bearing in mind that. Uh, the back and started the way Jan has now back on serve. Total prize money for today's final with 43,000 US dollars to the winner, 21,400 to the winner up. debut until Roland Garros last year. Not only as a qualifier, but lost in the first round. Also fell as a qualifier in the first round of the, the US Open. She fell to Melbourne amongst the seeds, as I say, and she carries on the she's put together over the last few months. Well, she's to beat and she'll want to obviously and, uh, to play on her last couple of finals she was runner up in Yuan uh, Chang late last year runner up last week in Shenzhen and her record currently won the two losses in finals after picking up that maiden title in the rest singles titles, both in Guangzhou back in China, one first time in 2013 and uh, again four years later, that's her eight doubles titles, and three back to major triumph in Melbourne 12 months ago with Sam Stozer, a popular win that was. Fed Cup team. A number of years, although perhaps not in recent times, but also has played 
in the last two Olympic Games, and we are in a, another Olympic year. I can't believe another four years has gone since uh, this gathering. So I imagine that she'll be uh, the team that is in Tokyo for China. Backing up. Both, uh, out wide, but also coming up to the net. Trying to take time away from her. And not allow her to, to impose her game, which she clearly did in those first five minutes, which was by with three games in succession. Okay, I think we are almost ready to resume. Start. Often works well, just firing it into the server. Oh! Peg down, put in something short, and can't be able to come up and put that one away. <laughs> what an angle there, though. From Middle of the baseline. Took a flat hit and it got through here. He really stood up to that shot. Solving very well here. Obviously, took a while to get used to her opponent's game, having not faced her before, but 
ways and means now to, to really mix it. Away, using the wick on the return and coming forward to finish it off. She had the chance. Pace on that, certainly quick. So she puts the, the brakes on. Resurgence here. And it's a 5 4 lead for the third seed. Serving to stay in this opening set at 4 5. Oh. 15 long. of her opponent's serve, but again, the accuracy close to the line, so if she can use it that well. Another excellent example, right into the corner of the box and then right to the corner of the court with the follow-up.
Two. Both refusing to budge too far back behind that baseline. Determined to uh, defy Kazakh's approach there. Five games on. She did very well to defend in that point. As, uh, the third seed came up again. But, uh, sent her back and uh, passed her well. Five all. Well, game on. And uh, great that we should have such a battle here. These two playing for the Angie Cunningham Trophy. Oh. After the late Angie Cunningham, who was a Professional from Tasmania. Go. Fifteen. Angie Cunningham was a, a very top, one of the top juniors. As uh, Angie Walcott back then, and uh, she did play on the tour. An administrator in the sport, but uh, very sadly, oh. after a courageous battle with uh, motor neurone disease, uh, she passed away four years ago at the age of 43. Oh. Uh, no. are here today to uh, present the trophy to the eventual champion. Determined to find a winning shot into that wing, and she got it with a beautiful forehand. Looks like she's up the aggression now, really opening the shoulders here. Not much that uh, Rubakina could do, but try and defend, float the ball back. But it was hammered past her again. Ms. Zhang is challenging the call on the right near sideline. Ball was called in. Suffering a loss of picture briefly. Our apologies for that. Constant. Third seal. As Jack has two challenges remaining. Right on the edge of the line. now then to break and move ahead having been on the receiving end in the early stages That's 
I mean, obviously, they're very different in their power of their shots and the way they, they play. However, in terms of mental strength, an experienced Zhang, very smart, canny operator out there. That's the raw younger talent that is Yelena uh, Rybakina. The abilities to uh, to use her talents in a very strong way. She's won a lot of matches, as I've mentioned recently. But that was not well located, and Zhang just ready, dialed in straight onto it with a great return. Barely had to move there, just gave herself a little room. Caught her out. She has struggled at times this week with uh, with lobs and turning around and chasing back. Enough force in her final shot to get the error that time. for the Chinese bringing it back on the run another juice Keeps it on serve. Steps ahead again. 6 5, first set. Four seed from China. 
Adrian now to try and take this to the tie break. Just putting pressure on by it, approaching the net. This time, forced to come in and well passed. Now one additional challenge. So to the tiebreak now for the conclusion of this opening set in our Hobart International Final. She's got a, a winning record in tiebreaks in her career. One zero. Not a very long career yet. Up against a player ten years older who's uh, lost more than she's won in terms of tie breaks, but has a mini break already here. when that beats the racket in that way. Brilliant shot, perfectly weighted into that corner. It's going to make her a lot of money, that shot, over the years, if she can harness it. 
control it well enough like she did there. It's quite a weapon. And is that serve. Three, one, Rebecca. comes. Three, two, Rebecca. in the main part of the set now in the tie break Jen recovering Tremendous skill. Decided to take it on with the two-handed drive rather than on the forehand wing. At least she made the decision early and absolutely met this perfectly. Not easy with the ball up in the sun there. And a really good rally from both, but Jank now a mini break again. Two points to come on her serve. They may be enough. First of all, oh. 
It's Zhang who does that with another great winner. Six, five, Zhang. Can she steal the set? Tough start for her. Lost the first three games in just five minutes. Barely won a point. And now a point away from grabbing the set in the tiebreak. defy Zhang's best effort. I mean, she made a return that just found Seize the corner on. of the court. You might have thought that would work her way, but we're back in a, again, under pressure. Great shot. Six points apiece, another change of ends. On it goes. a bit uh, chilly. So a sea breeze around here. Yeah. Smokes it. Seven, six, Rebecca. Another example of the fierce quality she has in the ground stroke. And she's absolutely on the ball. Look out. Her set point now. Left. First one. Ah! And still we wait to find out who's going to Grab this one. Eight, seven, ribbon. That might be the one that costs her. Screech as she made the contact. She knew it was wrong. Second set point for the third seed. Game and first set. In the end, she finds a way, but my goodness, that became a much harder set than it first appeared. Rivakina a set away from her second career title as she leads here in Hobart, winning the tiebreak 9-7. Dartage,他想对来说,他能展开这一点,是你得了很多的看,发他那边,得了很多,是他能抢下,而且下,刚才那种有机会的结局,就打他之前的空档,上完去做那非常好,做那很好,这个是第一点,然后包括展开,想
，像个就是五比五那种差点破破发那种，你前三分打得特别好，阿法不需要个抢，因为他那阿法很跳。而且防得很浅，你反而不好抢，每次抢还有效果并不是特别好。等下来有两分，我看你是等下来打，等下来打深了，打到中路打深了，哎，他叫起多拍来，我们有赢的机会。我们的目的，我们的目标是拿好自己的发球去，然后争取个破他的发球，破他的发球就是重要的一个环节在这个比赛里面。但是在急发球这块上，不给他值得，也不给他发完，因为他发完不上来。如果你的节能看起来节奏很快，但是如果不深不实的话，他。很连贯，他下来就打你第二拍，所以我们在解发球这个环节一定要解决好，宁可往后炸的，球打深的打实的，让他每一个发球分，拿得很艰难，他的压力就慢慢慢慢的就下来。那局他三比零领先，他就有压力，他就打掉。你做得很好，加油，能打回来，那、啊、很好，继续。So easily be the other way round, but it is uh, the third seed who leads Second the number four set. just here. Just just over an hour to sort out that uh, ripping first set that it became. She starts the second one. Fifteen. Fine way. Just gave it the space. Left. Second set. Well, she's not. First game, second set. Uh, too far back, has she? Just got on with the job in hand. Some fine tennis in that first game of the second set. As we look back at uh, the numbers, where well, the uh, percentages on the serves. Eight aces from Rebecca has certainly helped. Just the one double. Take your seats quickly, please, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Obviously, Jung consistent in her percentages again, and she got used to the kind of pace, the force, what she needed to do. It became a, a real match. Inside the line.
do it too. Hit that flat ball with the angle. Breezy, and, uh, stronger now than it was. Just the real power in those shots to hit through the breeze. racket. Really is going to be earned by one of these two. The title here in Hobart at the moment. Down the set, but up 2 1 in the second for Jan Schwein.
entiendo. Nine aces and counting. Game. In fact, total points one. She's just two ahead as well. Oh, that's C15. Doubt about that one. Two games on. Two all. Thank you. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, behind the players. Take your seats. Thank you. But 13, 50. did well to uh, absorb the big return that came at her here. Get that back to a decent length. From the back in there, Jang able to do it again. Hold serve and now lead 3 2 in the second set after dropping the first on the tie break. No rapid. 
Very few points against the serve. Up to now in this second set. from her but I do feel it's really important for her that she won that first set after making up a good lead it came very tight had she not done so this might have gone to uh, reel in again she's still going to have to play some fine tennis to see off junk if she is to win the title Good counter attack. Use. Love the way she obviously weighs up the options and thinks about the game. Makes the necessary adjustments and the way she's got herself fully involved in this. Just as we hoped from a neutral point of view that it would be highly competitive. done with that devastating forehand. Game. And another big serve secures another game. Three all. Three games all. Quickly, please. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Players already. Oh!
50. Took it on the rise, really well up the line. Really so good. Let's have a look. Was the umpire right with this? I think she really did. did it dip? It did onto the edge of the line. That Huge. much clearly in. Up a big All moment here. Break point for the third seed. chance when it came her way and now up a break in the second set potentially on her way to the title One of the young fans here watching a young woman by the name of Yelena Rybakina from Kazakhstan putting herself now in a, a very strong position. That breakthrough in the last game, if she can hold a couple of times from here, then she'll have the trophy in her hands. Playing her tenth match of the season and looking for her ninth win. Oh! 
Love it. That. Oh, the coach will have words about that one. She will too, I would imagine. Yeah. That's better. Missing a couple of returns like that. With the pace coming through off that serve. Ten points. Game. Magnificent strike to win the game and put herself a game away. From you becoming champion. Five games to three. Well, she was disappointed last week after a great run in Shenzhen to the final there that she didn't manage to do much. Come the decider against Alexandrova, but here she's done a whole lot. So it's been very good indeed. She's had to do a whole lot to uh, get on top of Zhang. It whistles by. Two fine points in this game, which may well be the last. Two more required now. Pace off the backhand this time, and it brings up the first of two championship points for Elena Rybakina from Kazakhstan. It's her title. Rybakina wins in Hobart her second career title and no doubt there are going to be many more all being well for her a fine match played by the Chinese nonetheless but uh, not quite enough to get the better of this young woman from Kazakhstan just 20 years of age but after winning Bucharest last year her maiden title now she has her first one in 2020 and uh, she really is on the rise look out for her in the weeks and months and years to come well on coach, well on her, that really was uh, some finish to a, a tough match, the way she battled through to win that tie break, well that was vital I think and uh, did a very good job for the most part in the second set to uh, stay focused, to use her strengths in such a, an impressive way. So John. Well, she was runner-up in the doubles some years ago, runner-up now in the singles, and she'll look to go one better later on in the doubles final still to come. But she partners Pung Shui against Kitchenok and Mirza. But, uh, of course, we have the uh, trophy ceremony to come fairly quickly here.
But uh, this great run of form that she's in, well, that's now 30 matches won in her last 39 played. Melbourne just around the corner with the Australian Open starting on Monday. Look out for this lady. She may well feature significantly there. She's learning still. Uh, the way she's shown poise under pressure throughout the week again. Yeah, that's uh, one of her biggest strengths. of points on the first serve, 56 percent on the second. Turned the other way around somewhat, 71 percent first serves in, 58 percent one on first serve, and 70 percent on the second. And those are all great points, more of them for Kazak, who uh, converted all three she had. And Jane completed just uh, one out of the two that came her way. Was a impressive conclusion to that second set for this woman. Locked as they were at three all, but then that tremendous uh, game she played to break through. And then and the break sources it out in her favour. She'll be at a career high ranking come Monday. 26 in the world, I think. And a great follow up, as we said, to uh, the previous week where she got to the final. Show so much in that last week in Shenzhen, but a lot of things no doubt from what she did that day, and, uh, using them better this afternoon. She beat uh, Caroline Garcia in St. Petersburg in 2018 and then uh, Simona Halep last year in Wuhan. Well, those young ladies are the uh, daughters of uh, Angie Cunningham, the late Angie Cunningham, after whom the trophy is named. And uh, very shortly, Caitlin Barry will uh, lead us through the trophy ceremony. Ladies and gentlemen, what an amazing final we've just witnessed. It is time for the 
trophy presentation here on Centre Court, would you please join me in welcoming the Honourable Premier of Tasmania, Will Hodgman. And the President of Tennis Tasmania, Martin Termine. Would you also please join me in acknowledging the chair umpire for the singles final this afternoon, Marta Moronjinska. We also acknowledge the Federal Minister for Sport and Youth, the Honourable Senator Richard Colbeck. I will now introduce the Premier of Tasmania, the Honourable Will Hodgman, to say a few words. Thank you, Caitlin. Um, can I acknowledge the Mohunita people as original owners and custodians of this land and pay my respects to Elders past, present and emerging? Uh, to President Martin Termine and to Tournament Director Darren Sturgis, uh, thank you very much for the invitation to be here today and to be um, amongst Tasmania's tennis fraternity in what is one of our great summer events. Um, can I acknowledge also Senator Richard Colbeck, representatives of the Hobart City Council, uh, and uh, most importantly, the fans who have come out to support this event and the 100 plus volunteers uh, that give it a great Tasmanian flavour and make it such an excellent event for us all to enjoy. Um, to the players as well, thank you sincerely for coming to Tasmania. We hope you've enjoyed your time here again. That was a fantastic match. So thank you very much uh, to all those who've played here over the week for the entertainment. Um, they've provided. And uh, to Tennis Tasmania and Tennis Australia, thank you very much for ensuring that this fantastic event, uh, which I'm sure a future government will continue to support for many years ahead, uh, is played here in our beautiful island state. Thank you. Two days left in the job, and we're really pleased to have you here, Will. Well, Will, we will hand it over to you to congratulate our runner-up in today's singles final from China, Zhang Shui. Zhang, the first of two finals today. A little bit disappointing to not get that one. How did you feel out there? Uh, really great match today, and uh, congratulations for the Elena. Very good play, and uh, I try my best, but uh, you play much better than me today. <laughs> well done. I'm sure you'd like to thank the fans that have come out and also your team. Yeah, really thanks for the fans. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the match today and whole week. Um, really great tournament. I'm really happy to be here. And finally, I make to the final this year much better than before. And uh, I hope next year I can come back. Well, it is your seventh time here at the Hobart International. We look forward to seeing you in the doubles very shortly. We'll go and let you rest and recover. Congratulations this afternoon. The trophy for the women's singles final champion is a very significant one. Since 2018, the winner of the Hobart International has received the Angie Cunningham Trophy, named in honour of Tasmanian tennis icon Angie Cunningham and created by Launceston-based designer Anita Deneen. Angie Cunningham was the daughter of Bill and Susie Woolcock, who are in attendance today and remains the youngest ever winner of the Party Shield, aged just 13. Angie was a world number two ranked junior from Launceston, Tasmania, and she reached the junior girls doubles final at Wimbledon and twice at the Australian Open, and complete, competed in the inaugural Hobart International back in 1994. Angie later became the WTA's Vice President of Player Relations and On-Site Operations. In 2016, after a courageous battle with motor neuron disease, she passed away at age just 43. Please join me in welcoming Angie's daughters, Maggie and Sophie, who will present the trophy to today's champion. Can you please welcome the 2020 Hobart International Champion for the singles, Elena Ribikina.
you want to let the girls handle that one for just for the moment, Alina? Or how do you feel? You've been in two finals in two weeks and finally you get the trophy in the second one. That's a pretty good result. Thank you. Yes, it's been a great week here. I'm really enjoyed to play here. And uh, thank you everyone who came today and uh, supported us. Um, it means a lot and uh, we appreciate it so much. And uh, yes, thank you so much to everyone who made this tournament possible. Uh, all the sponsors, tournament director, referees, ball boys. Uh, uh, and uh, hopefully I will come back next year. This is your first time. We hope to see you for many more years to come. Just 20 years old and yesterday in the semi-final, we had a bit of a hip injury. I'm sure you'd like to thank your team for getting you through that one as well. They've been really important this week, haven't they? Yes, of course. Uh, I want to say thank you to my coach, of course, uh, for the help, for everything, what he's doing for me. It's, uh, it's great. And uh, the, of course, uh, to the physios, they helped me a lot yesterday and today. So, uh, yeah, just uh, it's been a great week and uh, really thankful for everything. Well, thank you, Alina. We've loved having you here. We'll let you grab a photo with the girls with the Angie Cunningham trophy.